everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. G merch right now. The Niji merch is kind of interesting. Uh, we have just the regular Niji uninspired merch. Well, I call it uninspired because it just looks like regular stuff here. This is for Kakaru Yumo, Yumeoi. And then we have Finana Ryugu's birthday merch. Of course, the same uninspired merch that they always do for birthdays. And it's just, I don't know. It's very uninspired. It's all just the same type of stuff as you always see their critic stands, little posters, and the full complete sets, which are kind of, like I said, uninspired, kind of boring, pretty normal for merchandise. I'm pretty sure Hot Live even has them. Hot Live has, one more, has way more variety in the same eight items out of a single artwork. Just look at Gura's merch announced today. Well, of course, for Gura, they're going to have a lot of crazy stuff because Gura is one of their um, their golden ones, of course, one of their high ones, but not because, you know, they're pushing her, but because freaking they support her. They're making sure that she gets the recognition she deserves, all that kind of good stuff. Here we have something that happened recently with uh, Twisty, Twisty Amanazako. Uh, she ended up reposting, like retweeting a uh, Gura birthday thing. She's not going to get in trouble, it doesn't look like at least. I think it's very bizarre how she's allowed to openly uh, be so open for Hololive in a competitor company. Is it just me? It isn't. Like, she's, you know, reposting some other things from the concert with, you know, Lapless and Shio in there. All those things. It kind of seems odd that she's being allowed to do all this. I'm more, I'm for it. I'm all for it because that means that she is being allowed to be herself. She's being allowed to decide what she's going to post and all that kind of stuff. But I don't think management gets enough money to actually care at this point. There has been some cross interaction plenty of times, nothing to get up in arms about. So yeah, it's just it's just regular cross, you know, cross pollination, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Hot Live and Kudo have been performing collabs with each other for years now. I don't think it's going to be an issue. I think more than likely she probably already got the okay to do that. It's not really a big thing. It's I think it's going to be fine. The numbers, Mason, what do they mean? What do these numbers mean and why do they make me tingle? Uh, seems like the buyback doesn't help much. Yeah, they went up from 2800 and now they're back down to 2648. What ends up happening is that things normalize after a while. Yes, you have a boom because of the fact there were buybacks. So that affects the, the, uh, the stock market price because it looks like more people are buying the stock. So the value goes up, but then it normalizes because some people start selling off the people who maybe wanted to be short term sellers who wanted to be people like, okay, now I bought it at 2000 when it was at the lowest. Now it's at 2800. Let me sell. And then it starts going down. That's what happens a lot of times. No stable company does stock buyback on a regular basis. Like any cutter, uh, Riki, Riku or Riku better realize that soon. It's this, it's most stupid effing move you can make on a company. It looks like buying those shitty NFTs, uh, at its lowest point, expecting it to go up. He does have financial advisors. I mean, he should have financial advice. He's part of a large corporation. And uh, Cover Corp also reached 2000 ish again. Another, you know, comparison. They don't do buybacks. They've never done a buyback. So they don't do that kind of stuff. And they rise normally and naturally. They rise organically, supposedly. So that compared to the accelerate that Nidhi Sanji's doing is, you know, a whole different thing. But of course, you know, it just is what it is. Uh, not going to read too far into this, but hopefully things normalize back to where they should be after the buyback. Now, of course, more numbers. We have Vstats 620 report. In the spirit of the investors Q&A, NidiJP granted a huge boost thanks to GTA event, while NidiJN is still negligible. And here's what we have. We have Nidhi Sanji JP up here. They had a 64% increase, which an increase is an increase. It's still good. Hololive had a negative 0.2 decrease. Increases and decreases happen all the time. And 0.2% is nothing. But yeah, um, for everything going on, you know, they have some downward uh, slopes, some downward spirals, some downward stuff. Companies like Hololive English had 153% increase in viewership in hours. Neoporte had some down. Vispo, it looks like, also had some down. Hololive Device was kind of stable. Nidhi Sanji EN had down 41%. Face Connect was up 76%. VLAS was kind of stable. You know, all these people are, they're doing pretty okay. The V stats aren't horrible. I feel like Niji GTA event really helped us out. It's been the only really sustained period where Niji outperforms Hololive by a large margin. The stats on 19.6, 6.19, which is, you know, the day before that. Uh, Max stat at 98K and Hoshikawa and 86K where Miko, Aqua, Subaru, and Pekora had their usual 25 to 30K. Also saw Meliko peak 12K viewers because she's Kuzo, Hala, and, G and GTA. 
it's fair. Niji is having their huge GTA event, which is, of course, going to be a boost for any organization. More eyes are going to be on them. It's just going to be one of those things. It's not anything to be like, oh my god, why are they going and proving? Because they have their GTA thing, of course. Vispo and Neoporte also has about 20 members, give or take. Those are totally streaming hours seem crazy, and they seem to be rewarded for it based on their average CCV. So as you can see here, Vispo and Neoporte are having a good amount of views. They have a lot of view, a lot of hours being put in there. So their, their workers are doing a lot of extra work in there. But hopefully, you know, everything goes well for all the smaller companies and they continue to grow. Here we go. We have another situation where people are kind of, you know, rumors, speculation, whatever. People are saying 91.5 likes doesn't seem normal. Uh, and them having, uh, you know, 14.K, 15.K subscribers. The, the subscriber numbers don't always translate to um, likes. Someone will just be a Twitter person sometimes. They will just be on Twitter and they won't actually go and watch things on YouTube other than things like clips and things like that. So this is kind of a nothing burger, but I still wanted to cover it. Possible, but let's be frank. Twitter does not equate an actual audience. You could have a million views on a tweet and 100,000 likes, but that doesn't directly mean success in other platforms or even Twitter for that matter. Just think, do you follow everyone you made a tweet you liked? Uh, hi, Frank. I'm Frank. Analyze first. Hololive doesn't need bots because the community is already solid and supportive of each branch. Their exposure and engagements are from shared posts. Meanwhile, Holostar's exposure is small, but the company never abandons the branch and their fans. As far as I can see, that's that's something that keeps happening. They just don't abandon anybody, really. The fans love and will do anything if the generation appears. That's why you don't need a bot in the fans already solid. New Hololive members reaching 100k subs on debut or before debut is a normal thing, no surprise. Let's not go into the conspiracy theories before we rule out everything else. One, their Japanese accounts, a new JP wave will attract more attention in JP than an EN wave, especially since they are unaffected by Selen's situation. Uh, one of the newest members, Kaisei, had 60k CCV on debut, despite being restricted to Japanese Niji viewership. So clearly there's still a lot of that Niji Sanji JP good stuff. You know, there's still a good uh, movement on the JP side. Plus the removal of the ability to see likes on Twitter. You don't, yeah, you don't really know ever since that happened. JP is a prime market for VTubers. It's still saturated, but not oversaturated. So that's one of the things that I see there. The CCV numbers could be high at their at their uh, debut. We don't know. We will see how everything goes. It's best not to uh, count your chickens before they roost or something. I think that's what they say. Not count at all like that. Nijisanji, Summer Jam, Devil 5. The the um, the uh, Let's take a look at the numbers. Of course, we know how things went on week four. Let's take a look at the numbers slowly but surely. We have, at five weeks, we have... Uh, 507 total sold seats, which is still pretty good. 560, 615, and 1682. 13% of actual seats being sold, it looks like. So we have that. We had tickets sold per hour, 0.19 sold per hour. They did really well on week one. Everything else was kind of going down from there. Sold per day, 4.56 as of five, uh, five weeks, which isn't horrible, but they need a lot more to actually sell out. Money earned, we'll take a look at that right now, and also some of the other ones. Money earned is $16,500, total of $30,000, $33,000 for Boys Group 2, $29,500 for Crow Noir, of total of $93,000. It's still, I think that's enough to, to pay the venue and have some money left over, it seems like at least. That's what it seems like to me. I might be wrong. We have here projected ticket sales after 50 days. It's 14% of max seats, 15, 16%, 1851. That's projected sales for the full week of course and of course these are the concert tickets sold the blue is tickets bought during the fifth week so they didn't really even buy very many tickets these are the tickets sold so far for the girls group the boys group they sold a little bit more it looks like yeah the boys group selling more Crow Noir is also one of the one of the ones that's selling a bit more people want to stay closer to the center which makes sense for viewing angles and things like that other anime expo concerts for comparison Utano princess sama all-star stage universe it's going to be at the novo theater i believe so that's much smaller theater but they still sold really well. Uh, protected tickets, 415. And um, sell more. They're selling more than a lot of these people. Floor tickets to sell more, 234, 289. Max seats are 446. Like I said, the, a lot of these places have like max seats. And uh, the Novo Theater is much smaller. Uh, Obey Me, first concert, Overture, same thing. It's the, the Novo Theater, other, other theaters, other venues. And all of these seem to be smaller. Like you're seeing, they're, sell they're selling a lot less, but they're selling actually close to what they're the others are selling, but these are in a much, much smaller places. Two Bout is another one, a virtual live concert. Week five corrections, none. So yeah, it's a lot of stuff here, a lot of numbers. 
but uh, you know me i always like going over these numbers giving you guys a little bit of a run through of things uh they are not gonna sell out anytime soon it's probably gonna take till 2026 to sell out 7th of august of 2026 26th of april 2027 and 2027 so they're not gonna sell out in the week or so two weeks or so that they need to sell everything that they have to do of course needy sisters needy defenders whatever you want to call them they are going crazy over posts that are made in uh our kurosanji there's a needy sister account that tweets screenshots of posts and comments from here to s on us almost every day the other day they posted screenshots of comments from this post you can see for yourself none of the comments encourage harassment or hate towards the sisters none of them do some of the comments from our Sanji about the upcoming ax con you have people pre pretty much schizo posting about this stuff you know they have a uh, hype booth compared to one Sanji. they're pretty much schizo posting about everything going on here i don't know why they're doing it that way but you know yeah it's just really weird really weird how they're doing this um Quotes from the sisters on the Twitter account. They're begging to be harassed for justification. Continue hate. That's the saddest thing I ever did read. Can someone send this AX to something? They really need to move on with the boost to avoid this kind of thing. Um, you know, the ones who are planning and harassing people at AX and their post here uh, prove that. But now they're acting all innocent, like needy fans are the ones who will attack them. The only harassers are a few edgy Twitter accounts. Yeah, they're just edgy Twitter accounts really trying to make more trouble than it's worth. Grown men fantasizing about the situation when they resort to violence. Yeah, I don't think anybody's actually fantasizing about that. Most people like myself are saying don't do that. Not a single person mentioned violence. Not one. Everyone here wants peace and civility. Nobody mentioned women either. They're saying I uh, can resort to violence towards mostly women over VTubers. Yeah, no one mentioned women at all. Saying that we will be the ones to start S is dumb. It always has been. It's always them. Uh, have yet to see verifiable proof of a Niji defender being harassed uh telling them to be cautious is fine because their possibility still exists that a sister may start s so it's, yeah it's better to be cautious always cut the ndf of our twitter post entirely as they only stir up drama feed into it by enabling these idiots to access large audience yeah i mean i can understand that not to mention it's probably going to be the closest chance they or niji have of taking the sub down if we aren't careful all it takes is a few bad apples taking it too far it has happened a few times already to give them enough that they can feed the site owner's story. And I'm not going to put my money on Reddit to make it a decision. Ninja Sister posts, Twitter rants, add nothing of substance to overall boycott. Yeah, it's just, it's just rants. Honestly, it's just rants for them. And I don't understand why there are, you know, those type of rants. But it's just craziness on their end. Now we're moving on to uh, a good news, more good news, which is Michi finally got her play button. She says, thank you right here, Michi Mochi V and uh scambers so she actually put the scambers in there that's actually pretty cool she asked and they gave link to the twitter thingy that's effing go another win for the x liver they just had to effing ask someone else i guess they just had to ask youtube to give it to them after they became their own separate livers she asked and like needy's automatic no we showed her said yes took a while but guess what came in the mail this morning can't believe it now watch me over as a sleep over it thank you uh thank you so much it is insane it feels like a dream by the way the scambers will be memorialized on here forever so she did it for her community too. Um, congrats. Let's get the next one now. Let's effing go. Oh my god. Yay. Let's go Michi. Now the next one. Yes, they're going to try to get her the next one, which is the gold play button at a million, I believe. Uh, congratulations and cheers to more milestones to come. Congrats, Michi. Uh, let's go. Let's effing go, of course. It's all going up well for Michi and Vishojo and all the girls who are working their ass off to get all this accomplished we're starting with the memes because the memes are always interesting any color plan to focus on in jp markets meanwhile cover is going to east asia it's form 70 mod team conducting moderation for all broadcasts including post broadcast so yeah they're doing a lot of things uh that are different they're adding more stuff their plan is to focus on north america and southeast asia and of course addressing your concerns versus big announcement that's the big issue here and here you have of course outside the house right now out this per outside this person's house right now and uh you know he's just doing his his dance that was the meme dance i believe so yeah it's just it's fun times it, i love when when people meme it up that is all for right now of course comment like and subscribe down below thank you for being here of course i love having the conversations with you guys i love having these things with you guys and i do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment take a look at my description for my socials there's a discord there's twitter there's other places that you can check me out twitch etc and also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.